So, a little pressure light comes on when this vehicle is being driven. So, first thing you want to do is, of course, check and make sure that the car has oil in it. Alright. As we can see, and this oil was recently changed, actually. Okay. Then after you do that, the next thing you want to check is the oil pressure sensor, which is located under the car. So you can come under the car, and you can see this sensor here. Now, they are in various places, depending on the type of car. But at this particular car, it's right here. Now, sometimes when you're looking at this sensor here, you'll see like oil seeping out of it. Um, you may see drips or drops of oil. Um, and you, uh, there's no telling what you'll see in there, but sometimes you can actually look at it. You can tell, yeah, that's that's my problem right there. And what that does is that senses the pressure in your in your oil. All right, see that right there? Real simple. Okay, so. Now, you look in there and you find your oil pressure sensor is good, everything else is good, and you've been changing your oil, and you want to do a flush, and what you do is you get your product. And this is your product. Or well, this is the product that I like to use. It's totally awesome. So what I do is I take this, I pour it in the car. Now, right now, this car is full of oil, okay, as we can see here. So, and I also have it jacked up to the side so that I can get up under there. But what I'm going to do is we're going to pour this into there. Pour this into there. Pour this into there. That's where your oil goes. Okay? Now, what this is going to do, I've got one that's open somewhere, what do I do with it? What this will do is it's going to help to break down the oil. And help to break down. Just use this one. It's going to break down the sludge and stuff that's built up in the motor. Okay. So, when you pour this into the car, you're going to start the car and let the car run. You're not going to drive the car. You're just going to let the car idle. You don't want to rev it up. You just want the car to idle. Let it run for, I guess, about 10 minutes or so for the flush, first flush. And then drain it out. Change your filter. Change your filter. Change your filter. Let me say that again. Change your filter. For those of you who've seen my other video, know why I kept saying that three times. Oh yeah, did I tell you to change your oil filter? <laughs> Alright, so, and then you fill it back up with oil, and you can repeat the flush again if you need to, if, it, if it's really bad. If it's not really bad, you want to put fresh oil, fresh filter, change your filter after each flush. Okay? So, we're going to get started here. I'll pour this down in here like so. And since it's full, I'm only going to use probably about a half a bottle of this. Stuff's really strong. Now, for those of you who said there's acid, you read the label right there. No acid, no ammonia, no bleach, non-flammable. Okay? Read that. Look at that. It removes blood stains, grease, wine, liquor, gum, oil, glue, coffee, pet stains, some inks, fresh paint, varnish, hair. I think you get the point. And it says dilute before use. But what we're going to do is just pour it in here. Like so. All right, now that we got that in there, I guess I used a little more than half of the bottle. We'll put the lid on, and then we're gonna start the car up and let it idle. Now while it's idling, I'm gonna find something else to do. And we'll let the magic work. How nice that sounds. I'm going to let it back down because I don't need to get up under the vehicle right now. We could leave it up, but I'm going to let it back down because I want it to flow across nice and easy. Also, when you're using a jack, use a jack stand because if that jack were to lose pressure, you know, they fall pretty quick. So use a jack stand. All right, we're going to let that idle and we'll be right. So we'll let the car idle. The car is now idle probably about, I'll let this one run about 30 minutes. See how nice and quiet and smooth everything sounds down in there. Okay, we'll go over and we'll check our light now. You can tell this car's been running for a while now. You see the condensation? I've had the air conditioner running. See the condensation there on the glass? 
All right, so that's been running for a while. Nice and cold in here, and it's a hot summer day. And as you can see, there's no oil light. Look how well it's hot. All right, so now what we're doing, we're going to turn the car off. And what we're going to do is we're going to drain the oil out and see what it looks like. And we're going to change the filter, change the filter, change the filter. And then after we did that, we'll refill it with fresh oil and a new filter. Give me a second. I need to jack this car back up. And we'll climb under there and we'll drain it out. So now we're going to drain the oil out here. This is a 14. This bad boy's hot. Oh, wow, that is hot. <laughs> All right. You notice your oil will drain a whole lot. It's going to be kind of thin because of the cleaner inside there. And also, here we have the filter. We'll go ahead and take that off. Here's a quick note. Check out these filter wrench I picked up from Matco. Uh, there's the number right there, OFW5550, this is from Matco Tools. This is a beast of a tool right here as far as getting oil filters off. You know, you squeeze it, it'll grab a couple different angles, and just grab that bad boy and twist her off. Again, be careful because this stuff is hot. Now, this car wasn't as bad as the van I did. For those of you who've seen my channel and seen the other one that I did on the van that was all chunked and gunked up. But um, a YouTube viewer saw this and wanted this done to their car. So I said, okay, sure, I'll go ahead and do that for you. And they did have this little oil light on issue. So um, since this one isn't as bad, I won't have to do as many flushes on it as I did before. This is more of a quick maintenance type thing. Um, again, if the car is really crudded up and dirty, I recommend you know removing the valve cover and taking a look. Ugh. Hate making a mess. <laughs> But again, like I said, change the filter, change the filter, the last time I changed the filter. Let me see you all getting caught there. All right. We're going to let that completely drain out. <clears throat> then after it completely drains out, we'll put a new filter on there. We'll put new oil in it. This car actually calls for like 530. I'm probably going to run like a 1030 maybe even a 1040 in the car based upon the mileage and the year making model of the car. As cars drive and get some mileage on it, the tolerances and clearances will get worn out so you'll need a little bit thicker oil to, um, to um, fill in the gaps there. All right, we're gonna put the plugs back on, fill it up with oil. oil now. This thing takes five quarts of oil. So that's how nice and clear that is. Love clear oil. I don't want to give any shout outs to anybody today, so we're going to cover the label. I get tired of asking questions. People ask me questions, which oil is the best? Which one should you stay away from? Which oil, you know, nine times out of ten, the people that are asking me which oil is the best, they aren't even changing or taking care of their car the way they need to. So I'm like, you know, as long as you have clean oil in your car, it really don't matter too much. You know, unless you're going to be racing or something. That's a whole different conversation for a different day so now we've got our new oil on there we've got our new replacement filter down there let me see your filter I got the car lowered down so it's kind of hard to get down there to that filter but we're gonna put five quarts of oil in this and then we're gonna start it up 
Okay, so now we put our oil cap on. We got five quarts of oil in there. Check your oil level. And as you can see, our oil is full, is clear. All right, now we'll start the car up and see what we got. Now, if it's, everything's flowing right, then our oil light will not come on. We'll let it come on, but it'll, it'll turn off after. So, and as you can see, the oil light has turned off. So, we'll give it some gas. Get the glare out of there. As you can see, no oil light. Alright. Alright, so, there we have it, YouTube. Until next time, if you have any questions, post, chat, comment. Like I said, this one wasn't really that bad, so I only flushed it once. And, um, if it were worse, or if I had seen big chunks come out after I drained it, then I would do that flush again until everything comes out nice and smooth. You can hear the motor is running a lot quieter. Um, it'll actually run a lot cooler now, too. It's getting much better with the closer. You don't hear all the ticking like you did. And you don't have the oil pressure light on like it was. So. Love the air conditioner on this car. That bad boy blows good and cold. All right. So if you have any questions or comments, please chat, post, subscribe, and share this with the world. Thank you for watching.